Uh, hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to type this kind of body but also to suggest few things you can do further like after you finish your body. Uh, obviously this is like caddis uh, pattern and uh, this is not my idea this is idea of uh, Croatian fly tire he has some amazing uh, patterns by himself so this is called Boki which is his name his his name is Boshko the nickname is Boki obviously and this is Boki Bop, Boki Pupa A and uh, it looks like Robin fly but it's not and uh, when you get uh, this in your hands like it can be even a little bit easier and faster than weaving those those bodies so without further ado let's just get into dyeing of this pattern and the reason why I'm not showing you the whole fly is because uh, just use, use your imagination I mean uh, it's you can do whatever you want the body is important here and you can do you, you can make like pupa you can make the dry fly you can make nymph if you like of course and this is more or less it so for the, this purpose I'm using I'm using uh, Tiemco 2487BL hook amazing hook as all Tiemco hooks are if you ask me very consistent hooks which is actually one of the uh, biggest advantages of these hooks so start by putting your thread right somewhere in the middle and this is the extreme uh, thread, uh, some micro floss or something, not sure. And uh, the Boshko is using light color. My guess is because he's. Uh, because of the next steps, you will see, it's easier to see what you're doing. So, prepare your body like this. And I'm using, I'm making this fly slightly differently than Boshko, as you will see in those photos that I will provide along uh, the video. So it's just what's easier for me, nothing else. It's not uh, different in some important way. So prepare five strands of thread uh, that's going to be in green color for this purpose. So I'm preparing it right now and just need to remove one so five strands of which four are on the shorter side and the longer one is for ribbing it's on the longer side as you can see so put them on your hook and you can just as you can see I continued along the hook shank and this is where I differ from what what is what Boschko is doing uh, he would attach everything here. He would go back with his thread, attach materials, and this is what he does. But he's using thinner thread. Uh, I don't have that thin thread in this color, so as you can see, I cut by the angle. So in touching turns, you don't want to have bumpy body. In touching turns, just create this transition here. So you're slowly getting to. Uh, pupa shape body which has this rear end uh, slightly bigger. Now three strands of black thread are what's necessary for the base of the body and I'm actually putting this on the nearer side of me and pinch and loop is the most useful thing here. So again in touching turns I'll rotate so you can hopefully see let me check the focus. Mm, not bad. So, in touching turns, cover everything. So, take your time. And now, when you reach the end, don't go all the way. Don't go all the way till those green things. Leave a little bit a little space between. Now go back with your thread again in touching turns because you need your body, this body to be smooth because the next step will demand smooth body. Now everything is fine here. Now you can transfer your threads. I'm using some black thread 10, 10 zero 
Okay. Sorry. Be careful not to cut your black threads. So. What you want to do is you want to take this black thread and you want to spin it in counterclockwise or clockwise manner whatever it's easier for you but spin it very very tightly until you get a round profile of your thread and start wrapping around body with spacings between each wrap the spacing shouldn't be too big or too small it should allow those two strands to get to pop in so make it even like so and when you reach the end just catch it with a couple of turns and that's it now I'll just put a web finish knot just in case here because I want to show you something so relatively even spacings as you can see and now what you need to do is to take those ribs take two from your side to towards like away from you so towards the camera pull them apart a little bit now take the ribbing material put it around the hook once and then there is a beginning here let me show you like there is a beginning here and you should fit this ribbing right inside of this gap here so while pulling the side color to the right or to the left put this one in the gap so I just need to make it closer now the first one is a little bit tricky all the other are quite easy to, to do so the first one is easy is difficult sorry oh I almost cut the thread so let me just twist the pop it in the vise a little bit so as you can see I'm putting it into this first one and then it's easier if you have rotational vise now it's just put it along the sp white spiral so it's time to make it tighter so pull if you need and then I'll just rotate the vise slowly so you can see what I'm doing so put it and correct if anything is necessary sorry if my hands are in the way now you'll see it better I guess so up it goes in and then now stop rotating so pull make turn pull those side things make turn and you can just pull this one up because it's not proper now check if everything is right it is and as you can see it's like takes a little bit of practice but when you get there it's rather easy to do this and it's quite interesting to tie I, may, I must say so this is the last one we're going to do and as you can see it has taper from both ends now I'm going to do a couple of turns with my bobbin keeping this, rib, this rib, ribbing material tight in my hands I want everything secured and it's important to have relatively thin thread for the this black thread because it, it will create less bulk while you are tying your fly so as you can see the body is finished now you can make a nice transition here the reason why I love these scissors so much is just this so just make a nice transition here if you uh, if you put some feather here or whatever it will be easier for you to to make turns it will not slip jump off of the bump and so on 
So, let me just tie the knot. This is it. Now, you continue your fly as you wish. You can add elk wings, elk wings. You can add some CDC, you can add some snowshoe there. Uh, you can add whatever you like, and it's going to be great. And right now, let's finish the fly with some, let's say, snowshoe. And for that purpose, I'm going to use a little bit coarser one, because this is size 12. And I'm using this one here. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker. So just at the beginning of the foot, there, there, there are some hairs that are coarse and fine at the same time, and they're quite long. So you can use them for relatively large flies. So, as you can see, these ones I don't want. Bye bye. And there is less under fur here. So, like so. I'm going to attach this one here, like so. And, yep, this is it. Again, pinch and loop. Try to put all those hairs at the top of the hook, like so. Now, when you're cutting this, don't cut it flush, like so. No, cut it by an angle, so you can actually, like so. So you can actually continue uh, when you make those wraps each after another. It's going to catch different segment of those. Uh, legs, uh, sorry, wings, and it's going to make it like almost indestructible. Okay, it's nice and tight. Now we need to finish up the fly. Uh, I'm trying to make it even. It's okay, quite tight. Okay, now. I want to use material that's nice for caddis flies, nice for nymphs, and this is kind of, it's called bamboo partridge or something like that, just found out recently, because one of the viewers actually asked me like, what is that bird that you use, and I was like, I don't know, but I can find out, so I found out and it's called bamboo partridge, and it's amazing, and I will tell you why. Now look at this, this stem here is re relatively thick, but immediately like it becomes very thin and it's very very nice even for small flies. So as you can see my thread went into the stem and that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit more secure here. I always like to like break it like so, so it will be easier for me to start wrapping. Now, turn down the feather to be aligned with the thread, and then just wrap it clockwise. Wrap the thread around the stem. So it will make a little bit of mess, which is okay. Don't worry about that. And then by holding both together but no, don't be don't hold it too tight because you can break the the stem you can do this with partridge which is like quite obvious so just create those legs oh that's it and then again a few turns and then pull away and then what i like to do is i just go through those legs with my with my thread and it's like super super duper uh, strong sorry now I'll attach some material for the thorax same one same one and as you can see it's rather thick noodle and this fly you can actually I mean, I never used this particular fly, but I used something that's like almost the same with like some properties. Uh, I never used this 
type of uh, body but I used uh, like these uh, the same colors of body well I made this so super complicated sorry guys so I never used this particular way to tie the body but I used some other ones and I made this fly and I think that I have something similar on the on my channel so it's like super nice uh, fly and super uh, super one super fish catcher for the trout and even grayling if you have some or some other fish that that likes to eat in insects so this would be it I frayed my thread at the end which is super nice and okay I'll try to cut it yep that's it now what I like to do before I end my fly is this. I'm not being gentle as you can hear. Okie dokie. Now you have snowshoe, you have some part bamboo partridge here, you have everything you need and you have like nice contrasty body here which will attract fish and this is actually quite specific imitation because I'm not sure about the name of this sag uh, caddis, uh, but there is one uh, particular species or maybe a couple of, m couple of more with this color pattern on their bodies. So guys, thank you very much for watching, sorry for my a little bit confusing uh, talk, but I hope I'll make some other videos which are more clear than this one. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank thanks big thanks to, to Boschka who allowed me to tie this fly and make a video about it and give it a try I'm sure that it will catch a lot of fish